We've got a Matchbox Big Banger. Uh, the other day, Diecast Resurrection did a custom on one of these. Did an awesome job. It's totally amazing how well he does. And uh, when I saw it, I thought, hey, I've got one of those. Maybe I can see how I can do it. But I'm not going to do a custom. I'm going to do a restoration as best as possible. And this one needs a restoration. Look at this. This guy is in bad shape. I don't know what happened here, but it's, it's actually eaten away part of the casting in several spots. These are some deep, deep pits. We're going to need to be using some uh, putty to fill these in. The wheels aren't terrible, but they are worn. The base isn't too bad either. It's just worn and dirty. Although, look at that. We got a, a hole down there. Something ate through it. I have no idea what would cause this. It is in terrible, terrible shape. But I did find a motor for it. This was amazingly hard to find. I got lucky. And it's not the whole thing. It's missing the uh, the top. I guess it's the air intake or whatever it is. I, I don't know anything about motors. Um, so what I'll probably do is just fill in that hole and I'll, I'll leave it and make it like this. It won't be completely restored. But it'll be close. But, man, this is going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of fun, though. I've never done a matchbox before. So the first thing we need to do is to take it apart and get the paint off of it, and then we'll see what we're working with. Okay, this came apart, like, almost instantly as soon as I touched the drill bit to it because this is so thin back here. So let's see what's behind here. Ooh. Dirty, 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 dirty. Okay. And same here. So we've got a rivet there and there that I'm going to have to take out to release this plastic part and uh, free the wheels. I'll do that later. A uh, portion of the body actually stuck to the base there. Oh, it's rough rough shape okay can we get this it looks like the window is riveted to the uh, top of the base too so i'll have to figure out how to get that out without damaging anything boy they made these things tight back then didn't they again i just barely touched my drill bit to that post and it came right out so we've got our glass and thankfully the glass is not in bad shape at all. Like, compared to the rest of it, it's in really good condition. So I'm pleased about that. Now this is going to need some washing. Scrubby, 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 scrub, 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 scrub. Look how dirty that water is. And check out these massive pits. There's even pits on the inside. I've never seen anything like this. I don't know what would cause this. You know, this isn't supposed to. I didn't think that this metal rusted. There's like a whole giant chunk out of the roof. Okay. So we're going to dip this in the stripper and uh, let it do its work. Okay, I'm gonna drop this guy down into my stripper tank. This is my heavy duty stripper stuff. I need, still need to get some that is not quite as toxic. But we'll check back in just a little bit. Okay, so I got the uh, most of the paint off of it. There's still a little bit in some spots, but that's gonna come off with the wire wheel, which I'm gonna have to use. I'll tell you, that stripper that I've been using, I'm, I'm gonna use something else. It is too too powerful, I guess. It burnt through my gloves and burnt my finger a little bit. Um, a little scary. It kind of it damaged some of the uh, finish on some of my tools because it accidentally got on it. And the other strippers have never done anything like that. So I, I'm only going to use that stripper for really severe cases. But anyway, um, it did do a good job on this. Although look at these, look at those pits. 
is almost through the body right there. So I'm going to hit this with a wire wheel and then sand off the high spots and then we're going to have to look at doing some body work on this guy. Vroom, 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 vroom. Yeah, I know you're sick. It's going to be okay. Don't worry. Okay, I've sanded this up as well as I need to right now because I'm going to be using a lot of body filler on this anyway. And look, we did have some pitting that went all the way through the body in several places. So this is probably going to take a couple applications of body putty. Well, that's okay. We're in for the long haul here. So I'm just going to use the uh, Tamiya putty, or Tamiya, however you say it. I don't know how to say it. I've used it once before, and it worked really well. It's okay, little fella. We'll get you back. Probably not good as new, but we'll get you back looking nice. We want to stop there. And like I said, we'll probably need to do this a few times. Because there's a lot of work that this body needs. I see a couple spots already that I missed. But, that's okay. I hate sanding. Doot, 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 doot. I hate sanding. Doot, 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 doot. Sanding sucks. Doot, 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 doot. It is boring. Doot, 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 doot. I'm taking a little break from sanding to work on this base some. Uh, it is in pretty rough shape. There are pits in it, especially in the back, that are as bad or worse than the body. And they're going to be difficult to repair because unlike the body which is going to be painted over this isn't going to be so i have to figure out how to do that to the best of my ability a uh, wire wheel i'm afraid would would take off too much so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try the old lime out uh, treatment drop it in here it's basically a hydrochloric acid it should eat away at the um the rust and the corrosion leave the metal behind if i get it out soon enough i think that's going to be my best bet especially for getting all these little crevices and stuff and it's kind of a gamble but uh it's one that i'm willing to take i'm just gonna drop this bad boy down in here and i'm gonna leave it in there for three or four minutes i'll probably take it out at three minutes see how it looks put it in for a little bit longer if i need to so uh cross your fingers Let's hope this works. Okay, let's see how we did here. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, that worked. Oh my. Okay, let me clean it up and then I'll, I'll show you. Boy, that shined it up great. It's still wet a little bit from when I washed it off, washed the acid off. But it shined it up like unbelievably well but we can see now where the corrosion we got some really bad spots up here it's totally gone in this corner huge pits down in here so i need to decide do i either just leave it like this because it's on the other side it's not that big of a deal although that's kind of a big of a deal Let's see if is he gonna focus i could paint it a chrome I don't know. I'm going to have to think about this one. I might just leave it. Might not be anything I can do about it. At least nothing in my skill set. So let's move on for a second while I think about that. I've slept on it. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to paint the base. I'll paint it uh, silver. Because I I've got to fill in some of these areas. I just can't leave it like this. Just, so this car's going to look too nice for us to have a beat up cruddy rear end. So, I might as well do that now. Uh, leave the comment down there if you can think of a better thing that I could have done to make this uh, you know, base look tolerable. Okay, I know this looks pretty crappy, but it feels smooth. A lot of those, a lot of this, those white spots you see is just because that's where the pits were. That's how much was on this thing. This side wasn't that bad. Uh, down there I had a really bad spot. So I think the next uh, thing for me to do is to hit it with some primer and then I'll really see where the problems are. 
it is going to be awesome and uh, well worth the effort, I hope. started having people ask me what supplies I'm using and this is a uh, Maltobe liquid chrome pen you can find these just about everywhere pretty easy to find amazingly shiny almost too shiny sometimes what I'll do is when you press down on the nib of this pen, it will squirt out a little bit of the uh, paint. And then I will dip my brush into that and use a brush sometimes. And for this piece, I'm going to use a different product. This is a artist marker by Pebe? Peo? No idea how to say it. I get these at Michael's. This is an oil base. These are artist grade, which means that unlike um, a lot of the paint that modelers use, this is completely um, light fast. That means that 10 years down the road, this will be as shiny and nice as it is today. Well, the uh, Tamiya Putty was not strong enough to bridge that gap. So I'm going to go with some good old JB Weld. It's good stuff. And I've created kind of a dam with this piece of tape. Oh, you can't see it there. I've created a dam with this piece of tape that will, um, that the JB Weld should sit back in and conform to. And that'll make it easier when I go to sand it and it'll make sure that it actually fills that void. While we're waiting for that to dry, I'll go ahead and chrome up my go ahead and chrome up my engine. Okay, so our car just arrived from the body shop and uh, it looks okay. I mean, it's obviously not perfect and you can still see plenty of spots where there's some pits showed through that I didn't quite get uh, sanded in and the, the paint isn't super, super shiny and glossy and smooth. It's because it was just so, so rough underneath with so much problems. Uh, I think a lot of this will be fixed with a clear coat, but we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, it's a whole lot better. Definitely presentable. And... I made some vinyl stickers. Originally this had stickers on the side, they weren't uh, decals. And I made some decals and I thought, uh, let's, let's try and go as original as possible. So I made these vinyl stickers. I used my wife's uh, Cricut cutting vinyl machine to make them, so it was a lot of fun. Okay, now I made two sets, so if I mess up, it's not the end of the world. So these really are not, they'll come off once I put them on, but they are not positionable. Here, I'm gonna have to change the focus of this camera here. It is tricky to do this on the other side of the camera. That's a little crooked. Not bad at all. Not bad. I mean, I know it's not perfect and original, but if you look at all these different cars, and I looked at tons of pictures, these stickers were never ever put on the same way. Each one was slightly, slightly crooked, slightly different. So I don't feel too bad if they're not in there, you know, some perfect way, because I don't know if there is a perfect way. But it's coming together. I want to clear coat over all of this, though. I think I'll do that next. But now I think what we need to do is put this all together. So this is what I've been waiting for. I have to use glue here because these rivets are 
pretty much impossible to replace. Same with the window. I thought I could just set it in, but it'd fall out. And now for the icing on the cake, the jumbo motor. All right. We'll let that dry and then we're going to drive this baby around for a little while. Oh, it's so ready to go. It's so ready to go. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, jeez. Okay. Almost went off the table. That would have been really bad. I'm not going to lie, guys, and say that it's perfect, but I am going to say that it's really good, considering where it came from. If you remember, this is what it looked like before. And now the after. Man, what a transformation. The only regret I have is that I didn't find a motor at the top uh, spot. I, I guess it's the air intake. Um, but just finding this motor was a, was a lucky break. I found it at the bottom of a uh, bottom of a bucket of Hot Wheels at a thrift store. Uh, but um, I'm really pleased. The sticker looks good. I think this is as close as I could get to a restoration with my current skills. Now, I learned a lot in this one, and next time it'll be even better. If, if I can find one that was as bad as it was, that was a really bad looking car. But now, it is worthy of the shelf. Well, I appreciate you watching this far into the video, and I hope to see you next time, and have a great day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Vroom, 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 vroom.